Have you ever wanted to create countdowns 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 or for your live streams or your videos or you want to showcase 10 things to do or 10 places to be or you want to numerize the chapters in your videos? Well, this video is just for you. Before we begin, I want to say a huge thank you to FX Factory for supporting this channel and for you to hit the like button so we can help this video to rank into the algorithm. So let's go into Final Cut Pro and see the Countdown plugin from FX Factory, which I will have in a link in the description of this video down below. So we are in the Final Cut Pro interface and as soon as you download the Countdown plugin from FX Factory, you will find it on the left where the titles and generators are. As you can see here, there are three kinds of them. It's the automatic countdown, it's the static one and the titles. And let's see in more details these three different categories. In the automatic, basically what it does, it does the countdown if you want from the higher number to the lower or from the lower to the higher with the limits in the numbers to 100. So let's uh, get an example. Let's go for example here, as you can see, I can scroll to preview them. All right, let's see this one. Perfect. I'm dragging and placing it to the timeline, simply as that. And then I'm going into the inspector panel on the top right. And as I have selected the T, the title inspector, I see all the different options. I can have a built in or a built out. From here, I can select if I want a reverse from the lower to the higher number, the highest number. And as you see, I said in the beginning, 100 is the highest. So let me play to see as it is right now. It's counting for 10 seconds by default. Remember that if you want to change to the highest number, let's say 20 seconds or 60 seconds, to adjust here the length to be in 60 seconds. Because if you leave it to 10 seconds, let's see that, and have it to 60, the countdown is going to be like that. And from here, as you can see, you can change the number of the color or you can change the text. So instead of you're ready, Let's write something that you should do right now if you've watched at least one of my videos and you haven't subscribed yet. Then we can change the font and of course the color of the font. Let's say that's not a good color. <laughs> Let's leave it to white. And then you can also have a description as well, a text too, that you can uh, add here and change it. And of course, all of the different elements that you see on the titles of the countdown are fully editable. That means that you can change the color of the elements, for example, here or here, change everything. You can enable or disable the background because you might want to have it on a transparent while you're talking. You have the option for shadow, for glow, and of course for 3D extrude. This is something very interesting and a very good addition. Now let's go and see what is the static. On the static, for example, you can, uh, let's drag this example here. As I mentioned in the beginning, when we're doing a review or you wanna say for a video 10 plays that you should visit this summer, what a better way to display the number that you're talking with an automated title. So for example, we can have this static and again, we go into the inspector panel, we have all of the different, let's disable the built-in, all the different parameters that we can change. This is, let's say, number one. We can change the text to something that, you know, I would like you to do. Then we can change the color. And uh, if we want, we can enable the description here, the text too. And on the elements, we can change the color circle. This is the one on the back. 
Again, I'm editing for this example, but as you see here on the left, we have plenty of different static and automatic animations for Countdown that we can choose from. And easy as that, the result is going to look like this. And lastly, we have the titles where we might only want to use the titles that are included in the pack. A very interesting and useful plugin if you want to have countdown option in your videos or you just want to say 10 places or 10 things to do or you want to have different categories with numbers in your videos. I hope you found this video helpful and you learned something new today and if you did and you reached that far into the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Emilio and I will see you in the next video.